this video, we're going to be doing a full guide to the MC Clubhouse and all of its businesses that come with it. We're going to be talking about locations, which locations you should be purchasing these businesses. We're going to be talking about which businesses you need to purchase and which businesses to not bother with. And then we're going to tell you how to sell these things and if you should even sell them or if you should just sell them to the street dealers. And a little disclaimer. Currently, this week when you're watching this video, if you're watching it the week that it releases, it is two times GTA money and RP for the sale missions for these businesses. So if you're watching this in the future and you're like, well, how come you're making this much money? It's the, everything in this video still applies to you. You're just not going to get two times pay. I'm sorry. So yeah, like I say, in this video, we're going to be going over everything. Now, a little disclaimer here at the beginning. I am not a huge fan of the MC Clubhouse all the businesses. There is a few things you can do to make money when it's double pay, but for the most part, I just think the sell missions are awful. You can't really shouldn't sell these in a public lobby and they just take forever. Unless you've got friends that are playing with you or if you're in like a lobby just with full of friends, you just don't want to be selling these in a public lobby, man. It, the, 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 the sell vehicles are too slow. The sell distances is too far and the risk is too high. So I personally stay away from these businesses, but there is a lot of things that they can be useful for, which we're going to go over today, including the nightclub. So first and foremost, let's jump into it. So let's start off by going over the thing that most people seem to be confused about, which is the two times pay on the biker bar resupply missions. Let's talk about it. All right, guys. So like I say, first of all, we will go over the businesses and the locations and all of that stuff. It's coming up in this video. Don't worry. But I wanted to talk about the resupply because I think a lot of people in the comments of my video recently we're asking about that. So let's go ahead and have a little chat here. So you can see when you get up to it, it says resupply bar. So let's go ahead and click resupply bar. So this is how you do it. Now, once you do the resupply, it's kind of like, you know how I've talked about this a lot, but a lot of businesses have the same thing where, you know, the bunker has the oversupply of guns that you take to ammunition, your CEO office, like last week, we had to do the supply run. So we're doing the same thing again here. So let me just pull out my oppressor. Let's head on over to the location. Again, a more similar to the CEO office because the CEO office, you have to go pick it up too versus the bunker where it's right there and you just have to drive and sell it. This one is a little bit unique though, but we'll get to that here in a second. All right, and here we are at the van. Let's go ahead and take this. Don't mind me, guys. You're not going to start shooting at me. Oh, you know, you're just going to run away. All right, perfect. Now we're just going to drive this back to our clubhouse. Now you can see there's a bar down there which says supplies on it. Uh, so obviously for this one, you're going to want to make sure you don't get shot or taken out because the less supply or the more you get shot, the less supplies you're going to have. So uh, I'm going to try and be careful here and take out any bad guys. Usually I let them shoot me. I don't care, but we'll make sure we take out anyone that comes close. All right. And just like that, we're back. We didn't have anyone chase us down. We lost a tiny amount, but that was because of the bloody... Uh... <laughs> we hit a lamppost. Don't hit a lamppost. So you can see that was 20k, but that's not the top left there. Your daily bar earnings will be available to collect soon. Resupply the bar regularly to continue earning additional income. All right, so a couple tips and tricks for this. First and foremost, you can see that now that we've done the resupply mission, there's people here. There is people in the bar drinking the alcohol. That's because we've gone ahead and done the resupply. So when I said that it's kind of like the bunker in the CEO office, I meant it's like that because when you first do the resupply, you get the 20,000 as you guys just saw, obviously much less than the others. But what this does is it gives you a passive income and it lasts four days. So you're going to want to resupply this every four days in game, which is like 192 minutes, which is just over like it's like three hours. So every three hours, you're going to want to do a resupply. But basically what happens is once you do this resupply, you can see right here, there's people in your bar. And with these people in your bar, you're going to make money, passive money. So you're going to make 5,000 every in-game day, I believe it is. And that money, you can see on the uh, the minimap right there. It's going to be just right over here. But we'll take a look at it at the end of this video just to show you guys how much money we've made and all of that good stuff so you can see it. Now, another thing you need to know about this business is that... The best way to do it, I got lucky on my mission right there. I didn't have anyone chase me. I just lost a little bit of supplies because I crashed into a lamppost. Uh, but the best way to do this is with a cargo bob. So if you have a cargo bob, just do this resupply mission, fly on over, pick it up with your cargo bob and bring it back. That way you won't lose any of your supplies because you will, for the most part, get shot at. And it comes in like three waves. Or the other thing you can do if you don't have a cargo bob is pick up the supplies, get out of the truck, Wait for the first wave to come, take them all out with like a railgun or something, and then get back in, wait for the other wave, because there'll be three waves of people. 
So once you've gone through all three, then you can just drive to your um, MC business or your clubhouse and not have to worry about them. But the best way, obviously, Cargo Bob, second best way is just get out and kill the waves as they come to make sure they don't damage the van. So the maximum amount of cash that your duffel bag or safe will hold is $100,000. And it'll take you about 20 in-game days to make that $100,000. So it's not like, you know, anything incredible, but it is passive business, just FYI. And also, you don't have to be logged in for this money to occur, right? You can log out and it'll still be making money in the background. So it's not great, but you may as well just do it, the resupply mission, whenever you remember to do it. And all right, before we get into all the other things that you're going to want to know about this business and the, the clubhouse and where you should be buying it and all of that, let's just get into the locations. So if you go into a maze bank right here, enter on the top right here, you can't see it because my head's actually, no, you can see it right there. Clubhouses. Now, this is one of the only businesses where they're literally spread all over the map. Now, for me personally, I got this one for free for having the criminal enterprise starter pack, I believe it was. Um, but I haven't switched it. I've just kept it. It's right in the middle of the map. I don't care. I, MC business is not my favorite business in the game, so I don't care too much about it. And this is the one that I have. So if you have the option for a free one, go ahead and get that. If not, whichever one in whichever location you want. So you can see they're on sale this week. So you may as well get one where you want this week. Um, but you can see they're currently on sale. And not only are they on sale, the renovations are on sale as well. And I personally, I haven't. What was that? You do not currently have a current. Oh, yeah. I don't have anything. I, I haven't upgraded this. It's still called Motorcycle Club. Like, I've got the custom bike shop, but that's it. So get what you want. And to be completely honest with you, the custom bike shop, I have never done a single one of them, okay? Like I say, the MC business, some people may want it, but for me, I wouldn't. I'm just going to be honest with you. But for those of you who do like it, that's what this video is all about. But as far as Clubhouse is, go for the free one. If not, it's personal preference. It really doesn't matter. Now, like I said, I purchased the biker, like the garage ride here. And you can get like this one right here. It's kind of like the auto shop where you have customers. You can see modify the customer's bike and then you can modify it and you can drop it off. I'll do one of them really quick right now to show you how much money you're going to make. But I've never done them. It, it just doesn't interest me. But if you want to, I'll show you how much we're going to make right now. I'll just skip to the end so you can see if it's something you're interested in buying or not. All right, so we fully upgraded the customer's bike ride here. Now let's drop it off and see how much money we can make. All right, here we are at the drop-off location. And as you can see right here, it was a long distance. So obviously the MC club that you would have closer to you uh, would be a little bit better or closer to the city. But there you go, delivered bike service. 50,000 for the delivery, service cost was 10. So we got $60,000 final payment. Very similar, again, to the auto shop. All right, so next up, before we get into the selling and things, and we're going to be doing some in public, some in invite, and just showing you the best way to make money this week with two times pay. Um, contracts. So what is the contracts? These are also paying two times pay this week. And there's only really one that you should be doing. So let's go ahead and register right now. The reason I haven't registered so far is because I don't want to get raided. All of my businesses are full. I made sure to get them full for this video. And we are going to be talking about which businesses to get and all of that coming up. But first of all, let's talk about the contract. So you can't really see it right here. <laughs> But this is the one you want. This is the only one that I would do if I was you. It pays the most amount of money. It's very easy and simple to do. And the cool thing about these contracts is there's no cooldown. So once you've completed it, you can switch to an invite-only lobby. It'll bring you straight back here and you'll be able to do this again immediately. So how much money can you make? How long does it take to do? And since you can replay it, that means how much would it take an hour? Let's take a look. So life and death bikes. Let's go ahead and spawn in our Presser Mark II, which is going to spawn right next to us here. And then go to Vinewood Hills. My pleasure. All right. Now, once you get to Vinewood Hills, it could be one of like three different locations. But you're going to immediately, you're going to think, let's blow everything up. Don't worry about blowing everything up. Use a silenced weapon because uh, these missions are super easy. Just take them out one by one, as you can see right here. All right, now we have the next one. We'll just take him out. And there's no one else around us, so we'll just run straight up to the door. All right, once inside, we're just going to take out these gentlemen. Don't mind me. Hello? So at this point, you can see there's three things flashing. Let me just make sure this guy's taken out. Is he still hanging out in the shower? I feel like there used to be someone hanging out in the shower. Maybe it's a different mission I'm thinking of. Um, but for these switches, I, I, use, I think I've done a video in the past before and I said, oh, you need to click this one. 
It's, it is random. Yeah, my, my own advice didn't work. But one of them is going to zap you. One of them will make the alarm go off. One of them will open the elevator. Just go ahead and press all of them until you get it freaking done. There we go. So for me, it was the second one in the middle. You guys can try whichever one you want, but I'm pretty sure you have the same issue. So now we're going to go downstairs and we're just going to hide behind this car immediately. And then we're going to switch to a better gun. I think we'll use a heavy one because we need to shoot this guy, which is really strong. So there we go. He wasn't as strong as us, ladies and gentlemen. All right, there we go. That's it. Let's make sure we have some armor, which I do have. Who, who would have thought that I have armor? It's a bloody celebration to that. Get off that motorcycle. What are you doing? That's not the one I said to get on. I'm just laughing because I never have armor. Anyway, now you're just going to take this bike and then you're going to go and take out some more people. All right, so once you get to this point right here, you can either start shooting at them with your death bike, which I find always just a little bit more difficult to be completely honest with you. Or you can just get off and do this because I don't want to damage our death bike. You know what I mean? So listen, some of you may be much better than me at this. Some of you may be as bad as me. Uh, taking we just obliterated those people that was not meant for you i was trying to shoot the car and you walked right in front of my bullet okay that's good enough i'm pretty sure i can kill the last one with my gun there we go so now it says you've collected the death bike right so here is the thing if you own so you can hear what he's saying so it says return death bike. So you can see, you can now make a choice whether or not to return the death bike to your clubhouse and earn some additional income or not. Press A to accept or B to decline. We're going to hit accept because it is worth it because you're going to get more money. Excuse me, gentlemen. I don't know what happened over there. Crazy. Um, so that's what you're going to want to do is return it. Now, you can only return it if you own um, the, the, uh, the garage on the side of it like we just talked about with the customer bikes and stuff. Um, so you're going to want that option if you want to return it. But anyway, let's speed it up until we get back so we can show you how much money we made. Whoa, and how long it took. All right, and here we are with delivery. Mission passed, ladies and gentlemen. Done. 78,000. And that took around eight minutes. So 78K in eight minutes. And like I say, you can do it immediately, straight away. There is no cooldown. But here's the thing. If you're like, okay, that's what I want to do. If you run over, come inside of here... You're probably going to be like, wait, it's not even on the board. How can I do it immediately? Well, all you're going to want to do is go to online, find new game, invite only. And when you come back in, it should be there. All right, we just spawned back in. Let's head on over. And do we have it? I can't see the board. So it's not showing up. It's not showing up. And if that's the case, don't worry. Just go back to invite only once again. And in we go. And can we see it? Life and death bikes. There it is. We've got it back, ladies and gentlemen. There you have it. So you can do it. So 78K, though, is what that was. And you can do that consistently. And it took us eight minutes. So that means you can do this pretty much eight times an hour. Um, which would give you 624,000 an hour. Now, I am going to be putting this to the test. It's either going to be tomorrow or this weekend. We're going to be doing this for an hour, just the death bikes, to see how much money we can make. So stick around for that. But anyway, let's move on. So the next thing we need to talk about is location for your businesses and what businesses you should get. So if you sit down at your computer at your MC Clubhouse, this is where it opens up for all of your other businesses. Now you can see businesses you own or you could go buy businesses and you can see they're all on sale this week. But let's stay with businesses we own so far. So you can get, as you can see over here, forgeries, weed, counterfeit cash, methamphetamine and cocaine, okay? Uh, the reason I always try not to say those is because I feel like I'll get demonetized. But you can see the stock level on all of these right now is full. I made sure to make sure that these are full for this video. And I'll show you how we did that here in a second. But as far as which ones you should have, honestly, they're all not bad except for forgeries is pretty awful. Okay. The only reason I purchased forgeries is if you guys know with the salvage are, they told us that with the salvage yard, we're going to be able to purchase a vehicle at a discounted price if we own the forgery office. Absolute rubbish that was, they fed us. Uh, we've been able to do it once in the maybe three or four months since that business has been out. So it's stupid. But you do get like a 50% discount if you have the forgery office. So that's the only reason I got it, but here it is. And for this business and the counterfeit cash, you're not going to be able to use the drug dealers to sell, which we're going to get to later on here in the video. You're going to have to just sell those. So those are the two we're going to be selling here today. And we're going to try doing it in a public lobby. Maybe one of them public, one of them uh, invite. But we'll see what happens. So the forgery, you don't really need unless you want to get the discounts. The weed business is good. 
it is a good business. We'll be showing you that here today. And not only can you sell it as a sell mission, if you're like me and what I would recommend is going to dealers, which I'm going to show you here in a minute. Counterfeit cash, meth and coke. Yeah, so as far as like buying businesses, it does, location is going to be personal preference, okay? I went for, I think I went for the cheapest. I don't even remember. It really doesn't matter the location. Whatever is more comfortable for you. So let's say our Coca-Cola business, right? Let's jump over to that. So here we are with my Coca-Cola business. Now, all of these businesses, just like all of your businesses, are going to have upgrades available to them. So you can see inside of here, everything's, well, they seem to be taking a break right now. Uh, well, it is full, technically. Another thing I should mention, you can see the bars, one, two, three, four, five, as far as product supplies. If you only want one cell vehicle guaranteed, you need to have one and then half of another. So it'll be one and a half bars. You'll only get one sale vehicle. But we're not going to be selling these like that anyway. So you can see my buy upgrades, equipment upgrade. You already own this upgrade. So you can see, though, they are pretty expensive. We got 654, 273, 399. But you are going to need these upgrades. Obviously, for the equipment upgrade, it's going to speed up your production rate and the value. Staff upgrade is going to speed up production. This is one you might not necessarily need unless you're doing it consistently. Uh, but for the most part, you can just not get this one. But security upgrade for all of these businesses is very important because you will get raided. Out of all the businesses that I have with the bunker, special cargo, anything that can get raided, the MC Club businesses seem to be the ones that get raided all the time. So you can see we have a value of 7 700 right here and in a public lobby would get way over a million dollars for this but here's the thing and this is what i'm here to tell you here today and this is what i personally am going to be doing and what i would do if i was you so as far as the drugs are concerned we're talking about the weed the coca-cola the meth you know what i mean as far as those are concerned you can sell those to street dealers and for this weekly update from now until the 25th you're going to make more money by selling them to the street dealers. Now, you're probably thinking, well, you can make even more if you just sell in a public lobby. Yes, you can. But the risk is so high. The money is not that great. And what I would do and what, I'm what I am doing and what I would recommend you guys do for this week is just sell to the street dealers every single day. And then whatever you have left over at the end of the week, then go ahead and sell that in a public lobby. Because that's what I'll be doing on Monday's video. But if you're watching this in the future, you can still do this. You're just not going to get double pay. So what am I talking about? So right on screen here, you can see next to me. There is, these are the street dealers. We have the 18th through the 25th. And you can see for the 18th today, there is three dealers. There's three dealers every single day. So for dealer one, it's going to be 59 is the most amount of money. So you're going to want to go to the dealer one to sell the grass. And then you're going to want to go to dealer two for your acid. And dealer three is going to be a Coca-Cola. And this is going to change every single day. But as you can see, this graph I have right here, shout out to Platypus on uh, Twitter for this. And um, this is showing you what you need to sell every single day. So it's going to make your life so much easier. Now, you're probably thinking, OK, I have all of that information. Where are these dealers? I'm going to leave you a link in the description. Make sure you check it out. It's going to show you the location of all of the street dealers every single day. So let me show you how this works. Let's go to the first one. So for today, when you're watching this video, as you can see, this is going to be the location. So if you're watching this today, the day it comes out, it's going to be in the same location right here for you guys now once you get here you're gonna go right around the corner sh speak to the street dealer now you can see right here all of the ones you can go for and the max profit again for this one is going to be the grass which is the top one which actually has the star on it you can see it says sell one unit for 59 or sell 10 for 5900 or 59,000. we're gonna be selling the 10 for 59,000. so x to sell max all are you sure you would like to sell them yes i am and there we go 59,000 for them and you can do this every single day let's move on and it's every real day not in game day so from this location right here if you're doing this again today you're just gonna head right on over to here and it should be just behind it in this location right there and all right here we are at the location and he's gonna have that asterisk or the little star next to his name so we know that that's the one that's the most important. So we're going to hit sell. Sell all for 29000 Are you sure? Yes, I am. There we go. 29500 Now, the next one is actually going to be all the way down here in the city at the beach. And it's going to be right down here in this location right here. And all right, here we are at our final location. Let's go ahead and sell it. So it's Coca-Cola. Let's sell all. Are you sure? There we have it. 40 Now, you may be thinking, well, why don't you sell these here too? Well, you want to make sure you get the maximum amount of profit as possible. And those just aren't going to give you the max profit this week. Now, here's the other thing. 
I, what I'm going to do this week, like I've already said, is I'm going to do this every single day. I'm going to sell the max or the, the, the most profitable ones at each location like we just did every single day for the rest of this week until the 25th. And then I'm going to sell whatever we have left. I'll probably sell what we have left on Monday, to be completely honest with you. And then what I'll do is never touch this again because I, I'm personally just somebody that I'm not a huge fan of the MC Club. I think it's a waste. It's just too much time. There's better ways to make money. And we've just got the weekly challenge unlocked too. So there you go. 100K from selling a product. You're probably thinking, what is that? We have the black 420 cap as well. What do you mean 100K for selling products? Well, if you didn't watch my weekly update video, you earn 100,000 for selling 100,000 worth of products, which we've literally just done right now. So that's just how we unlocked it. Just FYI. Did those lights just go on in that building behind me? Am I going crazy? All right, guys. So now we're going to get a little bit more in depth on some of these sell missions. So let's go ahead. Preferences. This is something you may or may not have, and it could be something interesting to you. The Central Business Center. So if you head on over to your arcade, the arcade should be your hub for your MC businesses because it's this right here. So this does go on sale every now and then, but if not, it's like 1.3 million. And within this place, you can control all of your businesses. Now, you need to make sure you're registered as an MC boss in order to be able to come into this for the MC business part of it. But once you're inside, as you can see right here, you can manage all of your businesses. Now you can see there's a little bit gone from here, a little bit gone from here. And the reason there's a little bit gone is because that's what we sold. We just sold that to the street dealers, okay? Now you're probably thinking, okay, well, how did you get all of these full? Well, I came here to my arcade. And then what you can do is let's say, click on this one. You can log into here and you can click resupply. Now I'm not gonna do that right now because it's 75K. And we've only lost a little bit and I'm not planning on using these again after this week. So I'm not going to be resupplying it. But you can do it all from here. And then you can go to the meth one and you can come here and resupply. You can go to all of them right here and resupply. And what I did to get all of these full, because you bet they weren't full, because as you know, I don't really do these businesses very much myself, is then I just come downstairs. I came into the parking lot right here. I literally just stuck a piece of paper right there so that my thing would turn around set it on my desk and left it. I just went AFK. I lit that. That's what I did. That's how I got this thing full. Make sure when you're doing this though, unregister. Make sure you disband your MC club because if you're MC president as you're doing this AFK method, you could and most likely will get raided. So in order to uh, avoid that, make sure you disband if you're CEO or MC club president, disband or you go AFK. So let's talk a little bit more about these businesses, okay? So now that we know the three businesses, including the Acid Lab, so four businesses that you can go to street dealers on, that's how I'm going to sell all of my product is at the street dealers instead of doing sale missions. Just because the sale missions for the MC Club are absolutely dreadful. They are the worst sale missions in the game. Yes, every now and then you can get one truck and it makes your life a little bit easier. But other than that one truck, the sale missions are god awful. I would do this business so much more if they would just make... They, they need to upgrade it, man. They need to do what they did with the hangar. The hangar sale missions were awful. Now they're great. They need something, some love for this too. But anyway, the, as far as the street dealer businesses, those are going to go to the street dealer. Now we have two more. We have the cash creation and the document forgery office. Now, one of the only reasons I have these businesses up and running is this right here, my nightclub. So if you didn't know, your nightclub is a great funnel to all of your MC businesses or your MC businesses is a great funnel to your nightclub. So let's go ahead and let me show you what I mean exactly and why these businesses are good. So if you log into your nightclub right here and go on to warehouse management, now this is where you're going to have to hire these people and it does, it is pretty expensive to do, but what this does is makes these guys work in the background, making you passive income on all of your MC businesses. You can see here, cargo and shipments, sporting goods, South American imports, pharmaceutical, organic produce, printing and copying and cash creation. They're all MC businesses except for obviously the bunker one as well, but you can see here if we go to sell goods this just runs in the background you know and as long as you have these businesses up and running these just run in the background you don't need to keep them supplied you don't need to have them full of produce they can be empty as long as you own these businesses you're good to go but you can see here cargo and shipments we have 35 out of 50 south american imports is full cash creations full we have pharmaceuticals full so I have some that aren't full. Now you only have five people. You can see here, one, two, three, four, five. You can see this guy has an exclamation mark next to his name. Well, my head's in the way, but there's an exclamation point right here. 
Uh, but that's because he has nothing to do. And the reason he has nothing to do is because he is set to pharmaceutical research. And if we go to sell goods, you can see here, we're already maxed out. We're at 20 out of 20. So he's just sitting back relaxing. But like I say, there's five of them, but there's seven of these. So how do you do it? Well, how you do it is just like that. This guy has finished doing his pharmaceuticals. So he's ready to do something else. So you would assign him once that's done to something different. And that's the way you're going to be able to fill up your entire nightclub for when it goes two times pay. Because if you just have the five of them set to like five of them, so let's say we do these four and this one, they'll all get full, but then this one will be zero out of 20. This one will be zero out of 60. So you want to make sure if you're like me and you like to wait till it's double pay, to just make sure you reassign them as these individual ones get full. So you can see right now we can sell all goods that we currently have for 1.3, almost 1.4 million. And this isn't even full yet. We've only got like three of them that are full. So I'm definitely not going to be doing that. And I'm also going to be waiting until it's double pay. Hey, future me here while I'm editing this video. I just wanted to say as well, I'm pretty sure that the nightclub is going to be double pay next week. So if you're trying to get this up, make sure you're ready. You've got it set up. You've moved your people around because I'm pretty sure if I was a betting man, I'd say next week is going to be double money for nightclub. So just FYI. Now, this does take a while. This isn't something that you can get full within a day or two. This one does take quite a little bit of time. That's why I just make sure I leave it and just wait until it goes double pay. It's always full by the time I get to double pay. But anyway, I just wanted to show you this because this is definitely another huge benefit. The only benefit that I see of owning the MC businesses. I don't do any of the other stuff, as I've just said. I think it's a waste of time. I think you can get raided too easily. I think the 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 money isn't great. The risk reward isn't worth it. The delivery vehicles suck. It just takes too much time. There's so many reasons I don't like the MC business and I don't do it personally, but I keep it up and running for this, for my nightclub sale that I do like once a year. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, ladies and gentlemen, so since all of the businesses that can go to the street dealer, we're gonna do that this week. We're gonna send it to the street dealer, but a few of them we can't send to the street dealer. So we're gonna have to sell them. Now, let's just go ahead and do it in a public lobby. Just because we, it's gonna be awful anyway. We may as well just risk it for a biscuit. All right, guys, so I have found a lobby with 20 people. Obviously, 22 is the magic number we're gonna be looking for. But since, you know, this lobby seems good. So first thing I'm gonna do is just make sure we put all of our money in the bank. We're just gonna deposit that 1.3. There we go. Now we're gonna head to our document forgery office, man. What a state. This will be my first time I've sold this business. I bought this business for the salvage yard, like I say, because if you own the salvage yard, every now and then, supposedly, you, it was, it's a whole hot mess, but you were supposed to be able to purchase the vehicles that you steal from the robberies for yourself um, and for a discounted price if you have the forgery office. And it was incredible. You were able to purchase really good cars for like 10 grand. And Rockstar was like, yeah, no, we're not doing that again. And um, so what I want to say here for these deliveries, right? Or for these sell missions is that I know there's going to be people saying, oh, well, if you put your terabytes or your acid lab in front of the building, it'll where the three trucks spawn or the three garbage trucks or the three, whatever it is, the post op trucks, especially for like the MC businesses, like the Coca-Cola and all that. If you put that there, it'll block them from spawning and it'll spawn you just one truck. That is just luck. And I, you may have done it a couple of times and been like, I just got the truck. You just got lucky that you got the truck. It is, you could still get the three vehicles, okay? Um, so that's why I'm not going to be doing that here today. I am going to do what I always do is just check the mental state. We have one guy immediately, Manic. Well, fantastic. And we have a psychopath. Great. So a Manic and psychopath. The thing is with having people like that in a lobby... They just they have they have to go out of their way to murder people. Like you don't get manic and psychopath in this game by just killing a few people by accident. You have to literally go out of your way to grief people. I mean, I could regret this, but I'm tempted to just do it anyway. I'm tempted to do it just to see it for myself. Is it really that scary? Even when the psychopaths in, let's try it. So we will go into Ghost Dog too. I can't because I hold on. I'm. Mm, we're motorcycle club. You can't go ghost dog in motorcycle club. You can call, but you can't go ghost dog. CEO, so I mean, that's what makes this business even worse, man. All right, we'll try it. I mean, look at this. This is a full, a full stock level business, ladies and gentlemen. And it's 243,000. 
Like, hopefully we get one truck. We may get three, and it's impossible. Even if we're in an invite-only lobby, this would be impossible. It's not even worth it, man. This is ridiculous. I hate this business. I hate the MC Club. Just give me one, though. Just give me one truck for the sake of this video. Be nice to me for once, game. It's going to do that thing again, isn't it, where we're going to have to sit here on a loading screen for 10 minutes. Oh, no, we're out. It's boats. It's boats. It's boats. I think there's three boats. And, yeah. I mean, do you want the good news or the bad news? The good news is it's not that much. Even if they griefed me, I'm not sad about losing 250k. You know what I mean? So that's the good news. It's not like the bunk commissions or the special cargo or the, any other place where you're risking like... I mean, what was that mission we did recently? We got 6.6 .6 million for a special cargo. That's risky. 200k, I'm not too worried about. The other thing is this mission's all the way in Timbuktu, so no one can be bothered coming all the way up here for this anyway. But the reason I'm doing it, as always, is I want to show you guys the difference between a public lobby and an invite-only lobby as far as pay is concerned. But it doesn't matter anyway, because all of the businesses are going to be different. <laughs> so in an invite-only lobby, you would make what it says, which is like 250. Uh, you know what? Let's just get to the location. We have three boats we need to go to here. This could be a long one. So all this work, we have three of these. Obviously, if you're doing this with friends, it would be a little bit easier. Um, but all of this work for like to, for no money whatsoever. I don't know what Rockstar's thinking. There's no way people actually do this thing for like without being like un unironically. You know what I mean? You know what? Let's get through this. Let's wait for the global signal. You know, if they kill us, it would make my life a little bit better because that means this would be over sooner. All right, well, on the second delivery, no one's came after me as predicted because they don't even want to be part of this. They're like, they can't even be bothered griefing me. It's not even worth it for them. All right, guys, and just like that, here we are crossing the line, sold for 3 and 98 So, I mean, let's say 400000 It's just not worth... Like, the amount of time it takes to do... I mean, the cell mission, this was what, like... 10, 15 minutes. If you're doing it with friends and there was three of you doing it, this would have been over in like four minutes. But it just wasn't worth it. It's still, these are all the boats. You can see where I parked them all. Uh, it's just, I don't understand what Rockstar's doing with the with the cell. It's just so little money. That was less than half a million to risk it in a public lobby. And not only that, it was the worst cell mission known to me. The cell missions for these MC businesses are god awful so at this point because the, the 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 prize the money you get is so low the fact that we have modders in here the fact that we have people using orbital cannons in here even though we have all of these issues i'm still gonna sell this here because I just, even if they blow me up, they will be doing me a favor. All right, so you can see our product is full value, 490. So it is a little bit more valuable. I mean, this one is a lot more valuable. This one makes me be like, okay, hold on a bloody second. Do we want to sell this in a public? You know what? Sure. I've committed. I'm mental. I've lost the plot from that last mission, Rockstar. You make these sell missions so bad, it makes me want to just lose all my money and not care anymore. I think this could be fun, though. This is more entertaining for you, I'm sure, watching me risk all of this for a biscuit instead of, uh, oh, my God. Bikers, right? Four delivery vehicles? And it's five miles away? Rockstar, you can... You can... Like, I'm not joking. All right, guys, we jumped into another lobby, and we've got 26 people in here. Again, not a clue what's going on. Not, it may be a good lobby, it may be a bad lobby. I should wait until this thing is full again. But as if you may have noticed, I can't with the MC. Like, I'm just going to sell. We've got, we're missing a little bit. Okay, we're missing a little bit. It's fine. I'm not going to sweat it. We're probably going to get blown up anyway. So there's no point in me waiting like half an hour to fill it all the way back up just to get blown up. So we're just going to do this. We're selling it in the public lobby. Hopefully it's one truck. The fact that they gave me five, was it five motorcycles last time? Or was it four? I think it was five. Rockstar, what is your MC businesses? Would they have so much potential, but no one wants to do it because these cell missions are the worst thing known to man. I can't wait to see what we've got. You've got in store for me right now. Go on, show me what have we got. Show me. If you loved me, Rockstar, you would give me just one truck. Just give me one truck. Three. It's sale day. Okay. Three. I hope you guys know that this is impossible, right? I'm pretty sure it is impossible. We have to do five deli- I can't be asked. All right, we're in another lobby with 26 people. Let's- 
We're going to have no product left to sell. And I know at this point, I'm just being petty. I know this is just stupid, but it's, it's physically impossible. That last mission, doing, having, driving a, a truck, a garbage truck all the way to the city and then doing five deliveries and then have to come back and get the other one, drive to, it's physically impossible. We're losing money, but I'm not, I, 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 I don't care. I can't start a motorcycle club because the lobby's got too many people in it, I'm guessing. And it won't show me how many people are in there because there's a business battle going on. You know, there's so many little things in GTA 5 that we know and love, right? That we hope aren't in GTA 6. There's 17, there's 18 people in it. I'm hoping we're just going to get more and more and more. You know what I mean? Because we need about 22. And I just, I'm, I'm over this one, to be completely honest with you. I'm just over it. I want this thing to burn to the ground. The thing is, even if I was in an invite only lobby right now, I would be barking out. Because they're not physically, these missions physically aren't possible as a solo player. We've, we've gone and got the one truck, which I'm very happy with. Thank you, Rockstar Games. Uh, but this is most likely, this will be when we die. You what? You guys watch. We're going to die right here, right now. But I don't care. We're still bloody going for it. Nothing can stop me. You know what? We're even taking the shortcut. So place your bets, guys. What do we think? Are we going to successfully do this? Or are we going to get taken out? I kind of, you know, it sucks that this lobby wasn't fuller. Um, so that we could get a bigger bonus if we do even make it all the way to the end here. But anyway, let's speed it up till we get to the end. You know what's relaxing about this sail mission, which I know shouldn't be relaxing, is I'm doing this sail mission without my headset on, as you guys can tell. There is zero sound. So I think I'm more relaxed than I typically would be. You know, if I there could be sounds right now of rockets getting exploding from somebody that's shooting at me. I don't even know if I'm being shot at. I don't even know if I'm being shot at. I can't hear anything. I am chilling like a villain right now. I tell you, if you want to do, relax doing cell missions, take your headset off and, <laughs> and just do it that way. But ladies and gentlemen, we have only gone and bloody arrived. And I think we may have 22 people in here, to be completely honest with you. So 937. It would have been over a million, obviously, if I would have done it when it was full. But the, those two missions, I physically couldn't have done. They would have taken... It is impossible for a solo person to do those other missions that it asked us to do. This is the only one that you can realistically do solo. Um, I could have waited until it was full and then tried again. And if it didn't happen, do that. But you know what? I'm over it. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I think I've gone over absolutely everything there is to know about the MC Club in GTA 5 Online. We went over the resupply missions or the bar resupply missions, I should say. We've gone over the nightclub and how that works. We've gone over how to sell the businesses anyway that you can sell through the supplier or the dealer, I should say. So those we're going to be doing through the dealer. I showed you the graphs. I showed you everything you need to know. And um, I think the thing with the MC business and the reason after this week, I'm going to go back to just not doing anything with it, except for the, the funnel in it, funnel in it, funnel in it to the, uh, the nightclub. Like, that's fine. But that, even that, I only sell the nightclub once a year. So it's not like that really. I, I could care less. <laughs> I really could. I mean, I have, you guys saw, I have like 50 million. I used to have like 100 million until I went on a massive spending spree like a few months ago. But this, I make money. I don't need any more money in this game. And this business to me is just all, the sell missions are dreadful. I don't understand why Rockstar hasn't updated them yet. They are so bad. It is unbelievable, especially for the amount of money that you get. It's just not worth it. But anyway, you guys can let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you have any tips or tricks for other people, anything that I missed out, leave that in the comment section down below. So other people that are watching this video can go there and see some things that I may have missed. And I'm sure there's a lot that I've missed because I hate this business. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you're enjoying this update so far. And I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Goodbye.